Oh, well, oh, you guys want to do the, the stare into the thing, stare into the camera thing? Oh, uh, is Anthony talking? Yes, I am. Oh. That's a I bit. Uh, I get it, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Stop it a little. Welcome to the monthly uh, podcast series, The Pigeon Pod. This is number 14. <laughs> Stop it a little. We're getting up to the numbers. <laughs> I love pigeon. Being joined by... <laughs> We're being joined by... Oh, Alano times two. <laughs> two Alanos. Alano has a twin brother. Hello, Alano. Hello, Alano. Hello. Hello, Alano, too. Being joined by Coco, as you know. And then Ray. The Yeah, look at Ray. He's like our editor. <laughs> he's, he's our little... He's like our unpaid intern. <laughs> he is our unpaid intern. Except he, we just let him use all the materials <laughs> and kind of the round, and we're like... <laughs> Go stop, Ferdinando! <laughs> Can we ex- wait? We should explain the, the 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 joke behind Gustav. Well, you should, cause you're the one who made that. Uh, they don't need to know. It should. It's gonna be mysterious. The mysterious group of people in your comment section. True, but Raph, recently, what's up, Raph? What's up, Raph? We're doing a podcast. And I, you guys didn't pick me. Wow. Because we thought you were like, uh, doing something. Oh, that was no! what? <laughs> Stumpy. What is that? <laughs> Nothing. We would try to figure that out. Holy shit, this is the first time I've seen Fran's face. Er, Fran. <laughs> Fran. <laughs> Fran. <laughs> you look you mean Fran? Fran. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so distressed. I'm Ray. sorry, Ray. <laughs> oh, no, no. This is the first time I've seen Ray's voice, er, voice, See, his face in so Ray. long. Oh. Wait, Alana, you're in oh, there's too much. Right there's two cocos. I have not been having a good day with the words of English right now, okay? Wait, I'm just is a word. slightly behind Alana. <laughs> huh? He's, like He's just over, over my chair. chair. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cum? If Alano has a has a fucking camera taped to the back of his fucking shit, and it's just recording Coco. <laughs> it's just on the wall. <laughs> no, honestly, Alano could it's just, just have his green screen in his like Zoom classes, and the green screen would just be like Coco or like Raph or me. It should just be like a video of me. <laughs> yeah. A video. This is a furry animation I took from a furry Discord server. It's so funny when you turn uh, around. <laughs> oh, there's the welding <laughs> comment. Real man sport. You know how many meme <laughs> templates you've just created using using this green screen? You should you should you should do one like where you like one day you just have like a picture of a guy like behind you with a gun and turn around like oh no. <laughs> oh my god! What if it's like what if it's like what if it's like you, have someone's what if it's like you standing just... behind yourself with the sword? You have someone's cock just like oh shit elongated in the background. A long game. Ray, you look so stupid. You look maybe, so maybe. Just for us. Where is macaroni? <laughs> Raph, keep it to yourself. Uh, COVID! COVID! Yeah, Raph, I'm gonna get... No, but today. actually... My, my fucking throat's been killing me, like, all day now. Oh. Uh, That's so what she uh, said. COVID. I'm so Not sorry. Uh, jail. Jail. You got canceled. You got no. <laughs> it's all on. good. It's all good. I'm what fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in the it's okay. All right. This is not a bathroom. This is So today's topic, I, I can't guess see. what is it? I guess the, no, the first half well, was originally supposed to be about fast food or like food places or food. Okay. We could talk about games. Question. Can we talk about the economic wealth divide in America? Food. No. We're Maybe talking about that. later. Right, do food this is how it kind of goes. We just talk about really dumb stuff, and then sometimes we have a little bit of a, you have a, little, a special, you have, serious. Yeah. Of, a, of a spectacle. Yeah. Where's the you dumb guy? Wait, what? Little goodies. Yeah. The like, finding the piece of... 
It's like finding a shiny nickel in garbage. It's really fun. Let's okay. We should what? start off with the first fast food restaurant, which is McDonald's. Let's we should we should talk about what things we love about it and things we hate about each uh, fast food. Is this gonna get us sued? No. That should be the first question we talk no, about whenever you don't, we you don't like our fast food, we'll fucking sue you. We'll sue, we'll <laughs> sue yep. Peeve Pigeon. If you don't we agree with me, sued. I'm leaving this call. Wait, what? There's the Is sexy man with gun. Food? There we go. Oh, it doesn't work. Well, <laughs> I will specifically target you. Or actually, no, we can do like a, like a little mini tier list. I mean, people have done fast food tier lists so, before. Like critiquing, not like making fun of blatant. So, uh, let's let's focus. Let's focus. On. McDonald's. What's 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 your guys' favorite fast food places? Jollibee's. Wendy's. Jolly Bali. There we go. Uh, for me, it's probably mm. Popeyes. Oh, I love Popeyes. If oh, not Popeyes, so then uh, I've never. I've like, still never had Popeyes. So. We had to. There's we a, had to take a lot of the Popeyes. This is a place called po- uh Bird Code. I love say Popeyes. Um, it's so fucking good, bro. I swear to God, all the food there is so good. It's just fucking cheesy goodness of like pure hell. Like holy shit! If you try it one time, you're gonna actually never oh, want to stop going there. If that makes sense. I think that, I think mm-hmm. there was one. I think it was last week or the week before that I got like Popeyes like two or three times in a row. Like it was. It sounds like me. Sucks. It was so good. That spicy chicken sandwich with them Cajun fries and some mac and cheese. I like. Yeah. Okay, well, Jolly oh. Jolly Bees is this fast food restaurant. There's like probably seven locations in the U.S. It's along the East Coast. Way more than seven. Way more than seven? I thought I thought it was only like seven. I could be. Dude, wrong. people in California love Jolly Bees. Oh, I guess it's been expanding then. Cause it's, it's been expanding it's, a fucking shit ton. Yeah. It, like, you it, can find a Jolly Bees. Like, it originated in the everywhere. Philippines. It, it, basically, Jolly Bees is like the McDonald's of... It's like Filipino... Okay, shut up. What the fuck am I hey. saying? Okay, I went to the Philippines a few years ago, and there were Jolly Bees on every corner. Basically, what I mean, Jolly Bees is the McDo- McDonald's of the Philippines. It is a very popular food chain that started in the Philippines and they basically sell fried chicken great their gravy is what everyone loves I guess and they sell rice I actually have a piece of merch or not merch but like a canister from Jolly Bees let me go get it Jolly Bees has 37 stores in America okay I'm the expert here at, at, for Jolly Bees you just got it wrong what do you mean what what how are you the expert they sell rice Chicken, gravy. Yeah, but you got a question wrong. Question wrong. What? Are we getting quizzed here? No, look, see, this is the this is Jolly Bees. This is the gravy canister. This is how much gravy you get, and if you smell it, I don't know if there's still the gravy scent. Very faint, but I can still smell it. And then they also sell peach mango pie too. So I can smell you. Do you just think you could smell him? Yes. I somehow smell think that's... Today. It smells very present today. I enjoyed the Anyways, scent of Anthony. Anyways, these are Jolly Bees, as you can see. <laughs> and it was very good. So, yes, what, do you, what, do you, what do you guys... Oh, also, so inside... You guys no, 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 like no. A... Inside the Jolly Bees is... A Mori Bar! <laughs> Hold on a minute. A I love boring. I love so much how I, I, I love so much how Anthony's laughing and no one else is. <laughs> 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 this is the fucking Mori bar in the I'm just um, So you guys all have a favorite fast food restaurant. Like what's your go to order at your favorite fast food restaurant? Chicken. Depends on the type of fast food restaurant. Because that's what I'm thinking of. Because there's like your favorite. I know. Still, there's a lot. There's like fried chicken ones. There's like the McDonald's s like fast food ones. No, no, no. Just your what? What, what you would consider your favorite? Recently. What you would consider your favorite fast food restaurant? Like what? What's your favorite? Jolly Bees. And then, and then, so, what's your favorite order from Wendy's? Jolly Bees. 
I either get the four for four, or as price efficient and good, or Jesus Christ, I get the Baconator meal, and it's very big and it's very American. It's very juicy. Of losing a year of my life every time I eat one, but it is good. <laughs> well, no. You'd think that's a joke. <laughs> think that's a joke. But like Wendy's is like food quality is just like on like a health like um in comparison to like this isn't saying a lot, but like in comparison to McDonald's, they have like a D plus on like the health chart. This is like very old knowledge. So they might have changed it, but like the only thing they changed was like their chicken. Wendy's has bang and chicken. Wendy's is like McDonald's and Burger King levels of like taste. whoopsie levels of good taste without the same overwhelming sense of disappointment afterwards, you know? Wait, so how wait, what would wait. you rate it? Like what tier would you give at Wendy's? S tier. Definitely. Okay. Okay. The S and one these stands were S tier. I have question. I have question. Because you did, you brought up McDonald's and it made me it made me curious. Have any of you tried McDonald's' new um, crispy crispy chicken sandwich? Yeah. It's not crispy. What the fuck? I have. Um, uh, well, I mean, I tried one of their chicken sandwiches before. Not the McChicken. They came uh, out with a new like chicken sandwich. It's like a. I think I, I think it was either the the buttermilk crisp um chicken sandwich or it was something else. But I tried the buttermilk. I tried it. Yeah, there's both of those. I like the buttermilk right. one. And yeah, I, I like the buttermilk one. I thought I thought it was good. I, I was it was definitely better than the McChicken. The McChicken isn't even that bad. You know what I mean? It's a, it's I like a basic McChicken. sandwich. I had a McChicken. No, yeah, no. Like, really like I, 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 I like. I know. I didn't say that the McChicken was bad. I'm saying the new chicken sandwiches that they came out with are way better than the McChicken. Hmm. I, well, even then, I still don't like it. <laughs> I, would, I would rate a McDonald's like a C tier, like in the middle ground, because like there's there's like, See, like, like there's good and bad in McDonald's, and it's always I feel like it's really inconsistent. Sometimes you get some, like, yeah. and sometimes you get some. Yeah, I feel like McDonald's is like the standard for me. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, McDonald's has it's, like it's the standard. Yeah, McDonald's has like very high highs, very low lows, like. Their fries, it's like, a like top, it's top. They're like just their chicken, very good. And then they just come out with like lobster. Yeah, I remember the lobster. Yeah, that was really. Man, I, on, I honestly don't like McDonald's fries. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we, we you've told us before, and we've all looked at you like if you had three it's, heads. <laughs> it's just not good. I don't know. Like... That's why the police are after you. They're are like, you what? They're like lanky and soggy and weird. Oh, you like what, what Wendy's fries? You said it was, or was it Burger King? Yeah, what's up about Burger uh, Wendy's fries? Is... Wendy's. What is... I don't Wendy's know what Burger, Burger King changed I, their fries. What is Wendy's fries? Look like the battle pass. My thing, my thing, my thing on Wendy's and like Burger King. It's my problem with their fries is that they tend to have like fat fries, like fatter fries, right? And then they don't put any like salt on them, so sometimes they will be really dry. Yeah, Burger. King That's something that I feel like has changed. You go to. Like over the like period of years, like long jetted, over like the course of time, I feel like they've gotten way more consistent with adding like a good amount of salt. I don't know if it's just me, but like, yeah. yeah. I feel like the most popular fest. Burger King's depressing is though. Consistent. It is such a depressing. I feel like though. Burger King's like a straight D tier. Yes, I don't like their burgers. Yeah, their whoppers. Are I so don't soggy. get the hype about Burger King. I don't get the whole Burger King. I do not understand it. I had a chicken all, sandwich from Burger King and was so nauseous afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I don't like Burger King. See, the thing all about Burger the King is that they only have disappointment like, in oneself after McDonald's with none of the enjoyment, you I, know? Yeah. Like, the yeah. fries, they were, like, soggy. They, were, they weren't salted. They weren't good. You eat their chicken nuggets. They're... Yeah. Burger, King, Burger King is the type of food that you get when you're on like the side of the road and it's the only thing nearby. Yes. Okay, so I know it's fast food stuff, <laughs> but it's like I want to feel good after eating a meal. I want to feel satisfied. Like, oh, I ate a meal. But Burger King, I feel sick after eating. I feel like I went through the sewage 
of what yes. was left. Like, yes. Like, Burger King. Needs honestly, to, needs honestly, to I like their own. Whoppers, though. What did you say? Shut up! You like Whoppers? I, I, I had a Whopper like recently. Them. It was not that bad. Yeah, I mean, the Whoppers are pretty good. Sometimes, ah, I no. like, sometimes I get like a huge Die. chunk of burger, okay. Sometimes I get a huge chunk of, of an onion in their burger. It's like they don't even cut the onion. onion kind of, they kind of just throw it in there and just hope it stays. <laughs> hope it stays and hope it holds. Yeah. Man, your experience with fast food depends on the worker's mood that day. Because sometimes yeah. they just throw it together. And then other times yeah. they like may put it with care and put like the special sauce on there that they made at home. And then fucking... They put like the little like heart with ketchup. They give you a little kiss on the cheek. That's <laughs> how your day was. Literally. Yeah. What's another fast food restaurant? Um, is KFC I think we should considered one? KFC. I mean, no, KFC makes me sick after. It's good, but KFC then I feel sick. KFC is thick. so inconsistent. Yeah, like sometimes really their food is like really, really good. And then sometimes you kind of like want to barf after. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, cause there's like a lot of questions like comparing KFC and Popeyes, and the only thing that I can say I enjoyed more at KFC than Popeyes was their mac and cheese, and that's only for the fact that Popeyes mac and cheese could be a little watery sometimes. I feel like KFC I mean, versus Popeyes is basically like Dunkin' Donuts versus Starbucks. No, I, I feel like I mean perfect. I feel like Dunkin' Donuts Starbucks. Starbucks are more. They're more in the old school cuisine. versus new school. Well, before Dunkin Donuts, Dunkin Donuts, Dunkin Donuts, Donuts has way more restaurants. I feel Dunkin like Dunkin' Donuts, Donuts has way more kind of yeah substance. It has more of a solid it. foundation. Yeah, Be a better it's reputation, like, I think. Yes, the donuts and the coffee's good, but there's a good amount of supporting stuff, yeah. like for breakfast choices, American that also oh, support. Yes. Yeah. So I have think, you ever and had again, KFC? I think would be a D tier, and Dunkin' Donuts. I think it'd be a good A tier because it's solid A tier. It's, yeah, solid. Yeah. It's, it's 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 usually good. American classic. Yeah, you can't you can't have anything better than that. Morning, or going to work or going, to work. going on a heist or a bank robbery. A uh, heist <laughs> or raiding the Capitol. You know, you know Capitol you know, over. He's gonna rob the Union Depository after I mean, a fucking look at Raph. Duncan. He's happy because he had Duncan. Look at him. Look at his suit. <laughs> That's a man that goes to Duncan. <laughs> How do you guys feel about Chick Fil A? I've you know never, what's funny I've is that I no. Wait, where is he? How do I punch never him? How do I punch him? No, I've never. Been I feel like Chick Fil A's white man's ever. fucking Popeyes. I don't. See, trust. See, wait, what is Popeyes? The thing, the thing Popeyes? about no, the thing Real about Chick Fil A, the thing about Chick Fil A. The thing about Chick Fil A, right? A, their chicken, okay. their chicken, is so good. The only problem is the people they're who the fucking people racist. Who it, they're they're so racist and homophobic. And well, do they just like, like go up I, to you and like say like a, the I, N word? Yeah, no, no, the I no, no the, the, the work the workers like the people who work at the Chick Fil A's are like that's not what we're talking about. It's like more the people who the like CEO. CEOs, oh, like yeah, like the, own, the owners of the Chick Fil A, like that, like they like donate to like anti church, like anti gay churches, and like all oh. this like kind of stuff. It's so bad. Virgin therapies. Like, oh, chicken, bro. That's all you had to do. So it's like, so it's like I won't, I won't so go to Chick Fil A and buy chicken. food, but if there happens to be a Chick Fil A sandwich laying around, I it's mean, like it's already the company to fail. Like the thing is that they know they have a stable fucking, you know what I mean, position in the market. Yeah. So they could remember just anyone, like, and that's remember when Chick Fil A and Popeyes got into a fight. They did, and and chicken. It was last year when the chicken sandwiches first came out, and and Chick Fil A was like, oh, "At least we don't run out of chicken sandwiches." And then Popeyes was like, "At least we're open on Sundays." Woo! And then then they start opening on Sundays after that. Am I tripping? It was <laughs> last year. Last year, I don't know what was happening, but social media for fast like fast food was hot. <laughs> they were arguing. They were the girls were fighting. I remember Maury said that the girls are fighting. That, that she, I remember she said they may be racist, but they know definitely know how to cook chicken. It was and it's true. What the fuck? Really good taste in homophobia, right there. Yeah, I never been to Chick Fil A, so I, I, w I don't really have an opinion. But what would you guys rate it on a tier list? 
I've never I've been. I've seen a Chick Fil A several times, like no, no, like two times in my whole life. Nine out of ten, straight up. Like, unfortunately, yeah, no, they're, 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 nine out of ten. But it goes in H tier for homophobic. I I can't even lie. Their chicken is really good. Okay, we'll You're not gonna want point off for racism. It's really good, but I don't wanna like it. Well, we could degrade. To yeah, that's tier. pretty much it. It's really good, no, but, but I don't reality. like it. We should really not be giving I mean, that sort of thing a platform. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like, like I... go first. We should we should definitely do some shit, pull some fucking strings, and get them on 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 some good shit. Cause what the fuck? I think the problem with that is Ooh. a lot of the, a lot of people for situations like when it comes to stuff like that, a lot of people don't see it as much of like a big deal, and because that's that's been very. <laughs> That's been that's been very apparent with a lot of the things happening new recently, especially with like the the latest TikTok trend of coming out with a new sexuality called Super Straight. It's Super Straight's it's a kinda, fucking joke. No, it is. I agree with you. It's it it's started as just, a joke, didn't it? Literally and yeah. figuratively. I love women, but they don't love me. The the problem the like it was because what we've seen from it was that these people were making this and they were making this a trend and and when they got called out for it it was it's a joke it's not that serious don't take it it's just a joke joke. the and and that just goes to really show in like the long run how a lot of people who like they a lot of people who don't go through like struggles like that aren't going to take it as seriously as it should be because they don't they don't go through it so they don't know what it's like so that's why I feel like when it comes to like a situation like Chick Fil A and like how their CEOs and stuff, and stuff like that are like racist and homophobic, the majority of people aren't gonna care because it's like it's good chicken. I don't care, and even though they have really bad morals and are supporting terrible causes, they're going to not care and they're gonna be like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, but it's good chicken. Not- because they're not like experiencing that. Chick Fil A one day is gonna like pull like a switch. It were, like in Pride Month, they're just like, "Hey guys, can we stop donating? Come, come buy your chicken now. It's okay. Hey. Month, we're gonna stop donating to anti-gay fucking organizations." Okay, Jollibee. Oh, I literally hate when during I hate when during Pride Month you see all the commercials from every single brand who like pull out their all gay like commercials. Like we're going full on homo, and this gay second burger. Pride Month over. Back to straight people. Yes, it's they only support it for the, wait, wait, the wait. public. Yes, it's like the black best friend thing. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm not racist. Hey, uh, like, yeah, yes. the N-word. he's cool with it. Oh my god! It's like that. It's like when the the schools like, like all the like random uh, uh colored kids out of classrooms. To make them take a picture for their website so people so they can be like, no, we're not racist, we're inclusive. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. They're doing it for that one in one point only to then just go continue what they're doing together. You know? Yeah. It it also just it's mind boggling to me how how annoying some people can be about like their beliefs, like how annoyingly persistent some can be about what they think and how they think it's always right. Like even Oh, I all right. So I'm scrolling through Snapchat and I'm watching like Snapchat stories, and there was this person who posted on their story, and it was like the same people who don't like who are like mad at this term super straight are the same people who think there are more than two genders. And someone stood up on their story and were like, "But it's been scientifically proven that there are more than two genders." And this person proceeded to say, "Wow, you're really stupid." <laughs> And so I'm smarter like, than science. I was, I was just like, mm. how can you call this person stupid when they literally just told you to your face and like gave you like sources and evidence that this, like it has been scientifically proven that there are more than you're than wrong. Bacteria. People went out of their way to scientifically prove to with further conclusion, literally <laughs> resolve an issue, and you're just gonna be like, eh, fake news. The thing is, like, it doesn't even matter. I'm a straight dude. I don't care if you... I don't care. 
It doesn't affect me at all. I'm not gonna be like die because you were like, oh, I don't necessarily prefer either or other, and I'm gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyways, like I was saying, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you. It's not about you. You know? Uh, uh, this is not no. something within the Another. strict. Another thing that people tend to get confused whenever, like, the situation comes up, but like, oh my god, more than two genders, there's only male and female. And then it's like, do you even know what gender is? Because obviously you don't, if that's what you just said, because there's a difference, and everybody gets this confused. The difference between gender and sex, there is a difference, they are not the same thing. Gender and sex are not the same thing. Sex is what you were born as. Sex is your biological, like what you were biological, like biologically born with, with your genitals. So yes, male, female, sexes, right? Gender is Gender what you, you identify, identify as. Like when you, how you choose to express yourself. There is a difference, which is why people say there, which, which is like it's transgender. It's, it's. it's it's not the worst, that difficult to understand. What did I miss? One of the worst parts about it is when some people are like, like pronouns. I hate when people try to tell me their pronouns. It's a simple thing, man. That's just courtesy. That's basic respect. If that's just me correct if you get something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're like mm -hmm. Imagine if they like someone was like, "Oh, it's your 15th birthday, right?" And you're like, "Actually, I'm, I'm turning 60." Stupid. <laughs> I don't get it. It's such an overreaction to some, giving someone basic respect. Our education <laughs> system is failing us. For real. Yeah. We talk about this every creates episode. these type of people. Wait, come on. That's true. Help. That's true. Our public system, Yo, especially over the three public months, system of ours. You learned. I like math. Like, you'd be surprised how corrupt we actually are. I can't tell if Coco froze. Oh. <laughs> Learn stuff with you. Oh, yeah, another thing. I uh, no, I didn't learn. You ever notice how, like, how, like, <laughs> these fucking weirdos who are like, oh, super straight, are, like, literally targeting really impressionable kids? Like, am I the only one noticing this? Like, 13-year-olds yes. fresh into middle school, like, they're, they're targeting those kinds of kids. Because they know that, like, they'll believe anything to fucking <laughs> just, just fucking go up against the fucking women, you know what I mean? Leafy or whatever the fuck. Because, women. again, they're stuck on that mindset where they're like, okay, it's a combination of several things. YouTube, like, being like, hey, kids, you want to see SJWs get wrecked? Want to see some liberals get yeah. pwned? Yeah. What do you mean? They might oh, lose you got a pipeline. Two. <laughs> Die, liberal scum. Like middle schoolers are very insecure. They're very spiteful. Very, they're trying to figure themselves out, and Those sometimes, and that causes frustration. You know. Like my high school. Sometimes tends to a bit outlash of a little bit. on other people. You know. And three. Middle schoolers are still learning to like empathize and sympathize with people. Sounds, sounds like my high school. I'm Four, just saying that like biggest yeah. thing, biggest thing. Younger people just have really low standards for comedy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jesus. I oh, agree. Homies be going into the theaters watching Minions, and homies see like, boom boom gaga. I'm we'll be honest die. with you guys. I think TikTok is a breeding ground, especially for these like alt right fucking weirdos. For 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 literal mm -hmm. um wars on social media. Like, I genuinely dislike. I genuinely dislike the app of TikTok at this point. Yeah. Please be and out here them. on the app, like. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like, oh, they don't. I, have, like me. I, I mean, dark humor is alright, but it's like when you straight up say like a bunch of offensive, so, like straight yes. up saying it. Like slurs. Also, that very, too. I have very mixed views about TikTok in in the sense where it's like that. It has a very like toxic vibe. Like there's there's a part of it that's really toxic, 
and it breeds a lot of stigma and hatred towards a lot of communities that are minorities. And the problem with this is that it's never taken care of by the creators of TikTok. It's, Who in and of themselves are corrupt. And they, and they get really fast to take down things that are going towards the minorities. Like, or well, here's an example. Um, related community like, guidelines. Like, oh, like like oh, like obesity, right? You know how many people who like are Fortnite, oh, and you don't like my nerf guns you know the bad thing. You know what I say? If you don't like Fortnite, and you don't like my nerf gun, then you know what you are. Use a troll. Troll, 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 troll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um but, yeah, so it's <laughs> wait, what are we talking Important about? Important talk. Okay, like, so troll, 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 wait, what are we talking about? I was I was saying TikTok. that talk, um, TikTok is TikTok is like a it has a really toxic breeding ground for yeah, hate we, and stigma Jane, to being created towards the should, minority. We should, we should talk about this because we were talking about this earlier. But speaking of TikTok, um, Charlie D'Amelio, I know she uh, like on um, we were talking about how even didn't she get a drink? She's very hated upon on. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. We'll, we'll yeah. talk about that. We'll, in a we'll continue. Yeah, let's continue that. In a second. Let's, but, let's merge so back my, into my, fast food. My 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 wait, we're talking about wait, fast my food gripe stuff? with my gripe with TikTok, right? It's there's a lot of trends that happen that tend to attack or put down a minority oh, due to like so stereotypes and stigma, right? Sorry. And those never get taken care of by TikTok creators and founders and ceos and all that stuff right those and but then what happens is an example that I, i've seen a lot on my own tiktok is videos about obese women right and whenever they post videos about how they love their body they like to show off their bodies even though they're obese they get shadow banned and they get their videos taken down because it's not fighting following the guidelines but I see girls and guys half naked on TikTok all the time who are nice and fit and skinny. What? And so it's it it really shows how little TikTok cares about the minorities on their platform, and it, and that's even more shown in the fact that a lot of the people that are big on TikTok are people of like the majority and not the minority. And it's it's genuinely upsetting. Hey, it's well, really sad. That, that's it. just that's for that's for their image. They do that for their image. They prove. Yeah, yeah. Shit. TikTok is um for Americans. TikTok is a, a very like it's it's built it's specifically for Americans, but it's not an American company. You know what I mean? Yes, and because of that, they follow an very, American company. Would... Um, American, as we know, American companies are very trustful. <laughs> So yeah, no. Right? Like, um, so something that's. Like, it's a. Chi- isn't it Chinese and TikTok owned by Chinese, right? A Chinese company? Yes, it's made by a Chinese company. And the thing is, with, like, um, something that's very common in, like, uh, some Asian cultures is they don't necessarily like, um, people who are different bodies. So, like, able. Like, they. Pro- like, people who aren't able bodied or. No, just not considered normal or weird and gross, and I don't want to see that. Yo, and they what about those old ass out. emperors? They were fat as fuck. They just had rolls on rolls, and they just <laughs> sat in their thrones and said, "Hey, kill that empire! Let's raid this country!" Like that's all they did. They were fucking fat and greasy. Like, Alano, oh, Jesus Christ! Wait, <laughs> wait. I'm talking about like fucking Mr. Genghis over here. Wait. Genghis Khan wasn't even. Genghis Khan was, or was not an emperor. Wait. Yeah, Where was? Well, I don't care. Like, I, I, I didn't. Genghis Khan was not an emperor. I didn't. Well, I didn't like, mean like emperor, were... but like. Fun he fact. Was still, like, a fucking... The reason they were fat is because of the fact that they were richer, which means you could just get food whenever you want. So yeah, so a lot of the time back in the day, back in the good old days, you know, they they gave you like yeah they couldn't stand just, yeah some people couldn't stand you know wasn't wasn't one of the u.s presidents really 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 overweight and he had to get like a, a bathtub he had to get like helped out of his bathtub because he couldn't get out you're talking about i don't think that's necessarily true william afton yeah i don't think no. it was actually 
No, there no, was no, one no. in a wheelchair because he had pulled you. I meant, I meant Taft. He said the freaking Taft. purple guy from FNAF. <laughs> William Afton? <laughs> William fucking Afton. <laughs> Isn't there a new Not, FNAF game coming um, out? Oh, Isn't FNAF oh. a fast food restaurant? I, I wonder what know. their burgers it's, taste like. But they also it, have pizza. It, it, oh, I think they also have fries as well. We're, we should probably eat out at a chocolate. Oh, it was, yeah, was yeah, William, yeah. It was yeah. William Howard Tuck. No, William Afton. It's William Afton, it's William Afton from one. FNAF. No, but like... Oh. Chuck William e. Taft was very. They have to FNAF, so we should eat out at a Chuck E. Cheese. The I'm not gonna. You lie want to just I give us food poisoning? Yeah, bro. We're gonna eat like that and then you know. See who gets food poisoned the fastest. <laughs> who, who survives? Raph, when you move away from your mic, and places is not from uh, Chuck E. Cheese. When I when I saw the the new FNAF trailer, I was actually like, oh. Okay. This actually looks interesting because it's very different from the other FNAF games that have come out, which I think is much needed because it was getting like really repetitive with the whole sitting in the office, checking the cameras. It's it's something new. You're running around. I think I think it's a mall. You're like running around an entire mall with like all these really like, trying to kill. Yeah, like you're running around an entire like big ass mall with like a bunch of different like theme parks, not theme parks, but like different like exhibits and stuff in it. With, like, all the animatronics trying to, like, kill you. It's It actually looks very genuinely cool. And there's two... I think there's two new animatronics. Uh, they kept Freddy and Chica, and they added two new ones. One to replace Bonnie, one to replace Foxy, obviously. Um, but, yeah, it looks it looks cool. Um, talk to me about fucking FNAF. Wait, no, they have more Went from fast food to... We went from fast food to... I have, I have I have I have something that I want to talk about. I I feel like I feel like it's something that we should talk about because it has it's it's not talked about and it's being talked about now, but that's because it's happening a lot now and it's it's um the whole um Asian hate crimes and discrimination that have been going on. Yeah, a lot I heard that in history class for Asian people who are getting attacked um, because um they're getting I, blamed for the COVID. I've thing. been I've been doing so basically and I was already I already saw that it was happening a lot recently and I was it was it was upsetting. So what I had done was in one of my classes I had to do a deeper dive on some kind of topic that I was interested in and I decided to do Asian Lives Matter because it I thought that I want I wanted to educate myself more on the topic and I thought it was inter- like it was good to actually learn about it more because of all the hate that's been happening recently. And the things I found out Listen, the fact that this is not being talked about, like, whatsoever, like, the fact that it's just not being, like, it bothers me that I didn't know that you could be racist toward a- towards Asian people until I was in, like, sixth or seventh grade. That bothers me. <laughs> like, because mm. no one talked about how Asian people are different. The only people I knew that were different going into middle school were Black people. I knew nothing yeah. about any of the other, like, races or, like, ethnicities. And that bothers me. I feel like our generation is going to change that. Like that, I feel like our generation is going to change that norm. Like people grow up and they think it's just like black and white, and it's just like no. (laughs) Black people, just the way we grow up. It's like uh, the Chinese eye thing. That's like very offensive, or not the Chinese, but you know what I mean. Like they say it's Chinese. That's why. Somewhat related, very off track. I don't remember when we thought this was the Chinese middle finger. Yeah, yes. That. Oh my. Oh God. yeah. Nice. What? Where did so, that come from? Looking like in hindsight, that's so ignorant and insensitive. Just like, oh, <laughs> just the stupidest. <laughs> and it's so stupid. Like, I want to fuck you off, but I'm scared my mom's gonna yell at you, me. So. Yeah. No. Yeah. And it's also. I think. I think it's. Oh, sorry, Jim. I think it's cool uh, to talk about the fact that I feel like people get t- tend to think that only white people can be racist, and that that isn't true. Not Everyone true. can be racist, no matter yeah. what race you are. <laughs> and a lot of ignorance from like black like, people. They kind of just yes. say some yes. junk, like, and then just like again, you go in, and I'm like. I'm not saying that black people aren't the minority. You are the minority. Biggest minority, right? 
but that doesn't mean you get to put down another minority. You guys are in the same boat. Like, that's not how it works. Like, I, you know how many, like, I have a bunch of friends who used to be, like, who used to say, like, so many, like, insensitive and ignorant Asian jokes. Yeah, I do And, like, that now too. looking back, like, now, now looking back, <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> you're, you're Asian. <laughs> yeah, but I joke about being Asian. I joke about eating dog and stuff. And and but see that, I did it today. that's where the that's where the it's more acceptable the, because you're making a satire yeah, of the stereotypes you Wait that you are faced with by the virtue of you being Asian. Yeah. Who, <laughs> who said so Genghis funny. Khan wasn't an em- his last name means emperor? True. Doesn't mean he the was fu- an emperor. Khan means emperor. Oh, you know, Khan, oh, Khan, Khan is emperor. You know so that Khan King Cole was wasn't an actual Khan. king, right? Like. Who? Uh, who? I don't know that I, went. Look up Nat King Cole. He was the king of Nats, obviously, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, he was a king. Yeah, he has king in his name. King of yeah, Nats. no, but he Nats. was... He, didn't he make the fucking, like, Mongol Empire or whatever? I don't know That's about Mr. Gang. Children murdered... Se- several's an understatement. He murdered I know. a lot of children and women. He, he eviscerated entire villages, like... He did many, many... This, you know there was a 13% chance you were related to Genghis Khan? Oh, really? yeah. He also had, he had so many children. Wow. No, no, no. That's actually a fucking astronomical number. That's 13% that's, of people of Asian descent. That's impressive. Are, are you were the Genghis. Oh, the craziest you know part is... is... That's impressive. Yes, the that means over 100 million people are your descendants. He must have been a 100 tra- million people. He must have been a charming man to get that of, many. He was six woman. two. He was six two. Wow. Damn. Yeah, he's a tall man. I'm at, Genghis Khan. I'm at I'm at eye level with Genghis Khan. <laughs> you see eye to eye. Khan two time. time. Khan two time. It's been a it's been a little while. We we could joke about it now. A long time. Too soon, man. Too soon. <laughs> a, a little over ten years. Uh, wait, I thought he was dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <I'm> <laughs> he, I was he just true. died in like two thousand. He he died in like twenty nineteen. Oh, twenty nineteen guy. I do the COVID. Yeah, like. <gasps> right, like. Also, can we talk about the fact that one college that us was like, oh, hey, Asian student, we're just not going to count you as Asians. You're just white now. Just Wait, when did that when happen? That, when that happened? Um, within like... I'm calling it. Months. Like, no more, no more culture, cultural identity. Which is crazy enough, because... You already have people just being ignorant and thinking every Asian person is Chinese. It's either Chinese, Japanese, or Korean. Yeah, Nothing they, else. Yeah, I, I kind of it kind of annoys me how people only as, as, like um, correlate. Oh, if you're Asian, you must be Chinese, which is not the case. There's a lot of people, other people countries really don't. That are there is yeah. Asian. There's a there's a lot of countries. I have a whole in world Asia. map on there. India, I think, is part of Asia. Yeah, India's Asian. Yeah, yeah, India is Asian. It's part of Asia. Iran. And like and like, like Bang and like Bangladesh. Too, right? Wow. Yeah. The Japs. Whoa. Oh man. What I wouldn't uh, do is technically just because of fucking oh, continent dispute bullshit. Wow, I didn't realize how many. But if you really think about it, your Russia is like European Asian <laughs> mix bullshit. What are Russians? No, that, like, serious question. What the fuck are Russians? They're, Russia? Yeah, that's kind of weird, because part of it's in Europe and part of it's in Asia. Exactly, and, like, the thing is that a <laughs> lot of European and Asian... Isn't, isn't Russia, like, a really, like, varied mix of European and Asian people? It's, 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 it's considered yeah. transcontinental. Oh, really? That's a big word, Alana. Yeah. That's a huge word. No, I'm reading off of Google. No, stop. It reminded me of Ice Age, <laughs> the Continental Drift. Stop it, please. 
I cannot talk about that movie. Oh European Russia occupies oh. almost 40% of Europe. Manny the Mammoth. Holy what shit. What a father figure. You, uh, you overestimate how big Europe really is. Europe isn't that big, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> well, something that's funny is, is the fact that, like, Europeans have, like, the same distance from, like, I don't know, say, France, Ooh. like, Spain. Ooh, I love and, like, they will, like, we'll just, like, go from state to state for, like, a day trip. I'm saying, I love uh, it's that time of the night, guys. Hold on, I just got to do this real quickly. What jerk off? Oh. I mean, what? No, I'm just staring. No, uh, everybody do something else. Okay, Raph, hold Raph, on. You can hold talk on. about Genshin now, Raph. Hold on, okay. no, we were about to get back on topic. Wait, wait, on, wait, 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 I have a question. Was that? I feel like. Yep. Fuck. I realize, well, shouldn't, shouldn't we talk about Genshin when we all start playing it? Because then we can all have something to say about it. Well, I mean, I mean yeah. like, I we can discuss a little bit. About it. We should wait until we play it more. Like, I haven't even started the game. That way we can just have a way more fully developed conversation. We can play it after this podcast. I'm not, yeah. We can play it after this podcast. Uh, other games, there's games there's from our own experiences yeah, way better. On I mean, yeah. What? <laughs> Nothing. I said I was saying that we could play Genshin no, after the podcast, so you guys can try it out. I'm just gonna say I have a it's a very good game. Solely for be back. Genshin. I was gonna game. say that I wanted. Your throat. I wanted to say that we should have a. Con- I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Hey now. <laughs> That's okay, a little okay. inappropriate. So as I was saying. I want to talk about Genshin just to get you guys informed before you start, because there's a lot of things you should know about the game before you actually start it, in the sense of... But I'm I'm saying for a podcast, Raph. Uh, I mean, if you any new people, you know what I mean? We can could, we could advertise Genshin. The clue it is. Oh, yeah, I just found out we could do four people squads. Like, four people co-op. Yeah. You know what the fuck that means, boy? Yeah, that means... But we don't... I, isn't it... Doesn't um, how co-op works in Genshin, right? Doesn't it um make it so every every person takes up a slot in a party, so yep. eventually you'll all be controlling one character, right? Yeah. No. Oh yeah, we'll be controlling one character. We'll be controlling like each. Wait, so like for example, I'm Ray, gonna brush that down my. Oh yeah, and also I want you guys to like pick a character to main in a sense. What like, the hell is this? What? <laughs> you don't know what that is? No, what? I can't I see. see five big steamy men. And, uh, Alano, five. it's the five guys. It's the five black guys and one white girl. Oh, Anthony, what the fuck do you think is gonna happen? Sex? They're gonna have a polite conversation. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> polite conversation. Why they're gonna the they're gonna talk about politics. True. I'm not a chair. You're a chair. That's a little political. I don't really like that. What else can I do? We've only been talking about politics. <laughs> no, we talk about fast food. Um, wait, okay, hey. Okay, so since this is a food-related podcast, what are you guys' experience with, with cooking? Do you guys ever cook? No. My experience with cooking? Um, you know what? I think I was like, I think I was like, what? Maybe 10 or 11? I cooked like a whole meal for the first time. I think the first Again, thing I ever like cooked pork was chops, eggs. rice, and mac and cheese. Same. Egg. Because eggs are I think... easy. Usually when yeah, I cook, I easy. cook breakfast. That's basically the only time I cook. Breakfast and lunch. I've never really cooked dinner. I mean, I've helped out in dinner, but I've never really cooked on my own. Like, when it came to dinner. But I'm pretty good with breakfast and lunch. There was this... Oh my gosh, there was this one time where I was making an egg, and I left the stove... For like five seconds, clean. right? I left the I left the stove for like five seconds, and I came back, and my egg was stuck to the pan, and there was a bug inside of it. I wanted to cry. Oh, I was no. so angry. <laughs> oh yeah, does anyone else have an obsession with that um Charlie X or fucking name his song? Who? Like, I feel like it's just me right now. Charlie. Charlie X. Emilio. Charlie XEX. I think that's the name. 
XEX but, Who's that? Who's no. Charlie XEX? made that song? That... I don't know who Charlie who made XCX? that song with Iggy Azalea? Shut the fuck up! Who's Charlie XEX? Alano, there's a guy behind you. you. There's a guy behind you, Alano. Stay calm, stay calm. He may be naked, but if you don't look at his there's meter, a what? He, will not, he will not interact with you, please. There's a what? Just say that you have a, there's a... a wife. Or, or, yes. Aww. No. I don't see anything. No. I don't see anything. He's hungry for you. What? Is it? He's going to eat your ass. Oh my god, he's eating Ooh. your ass. Is it that guy right there? Yeah. Is it him? Wait. Yeah. Be careful, Lana. That's some territorial stuff. <laughs> What's that? A samurai sword? <laughs> I can't. I can't raise it. There's a fan. <laughs> uh, oh, it's dark. You're like glitching in and out of the screen. You're like a hacker. What if I just like poke him with it? Oh. Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Stop it! You're scaring me. You're scaring my my wife. St. Patrick's Anthony, Day is, is, is next week. Uh, we're recording this on the 12th of March. Uh, this probably will be out on the 12th of March. Why am I saying when is... Okay, never mind. But um, St. Patrick's Day is next Wednesday. And as someone who is Irish... Uh, You're Irish? I look forward to that. Irish? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like, love it. I took a DNA damn. test like a year ago, and I found out not only am I Filipino... I'm also Irish, French, Italian, Turkish, Chinese somehow, and Filipino. Yeah. Holy shit. Nice. Also from nice. England as well, for some reason. I'm British. I'm a, I'm, I need to take a DNA. I'm a little British. If you think about it, I'm completely from Europe because Spain is in Europe. You're a Lano. I'm, I'm European. You're a Lano. You're at this point. <laughs> well, you're Puerto Rican, aren't you? Puerto Rican, yeah, but they came from Spain and then they went to Puerto Rico. So, guys, what should we do for Saint? Patrick's oh, like Day? your family, like your family didn't mix in with people from Puerto Rico. Uh, they probably did, but like it's mostly Spaniard. Because the thing is that like you get the color through the slaves, if that makes sense. Oh God. No, literally. What happened? Or like not the color. But like not just the color, but like the physical. Cause like, look at me. Yeah, I don't think we were around for that. What I'm trying to get at is that like. You sound like my pre-calc teacher. What was I trying to get? At? Who's your pre-calc teacher? I can't say his name. Bro, Puerto Ricans before Christopher Columbus used to look completely fucking different. You also sound like Tano Blade. Are you talking about the natives or the, the natives. ones who were born? The natives, the Native Americans. Like I'm a Let's Taino, stop it right? The fucking. <laughs> Italian? The green screen's behind you. Taino! Italian? To hit you. We should go to Europe in the future. But what country would we go to if we were going to Europe? Like. Sweden? Norway? Mm. Finland? I feel like those. I think this. I feel like the Scandinavian countries are probably mm. like. One, maybe like. They're the most peaceful. Yeah, the most peaceful ones. The fucking Scandinavian government! Where'd Greece that come is also from? a nice place to go to because it's a beautiful place. Shit, I want to see those ruins, like the Roman, yeah, we the Roman Greece. things, the we Greek should... things. Yeah. We should. Roman, Greece are far, but you know. True. We should go to the United States I have of America. A... I have. <laughs> Yo, I heard America is pretty cool, man. Yeah. Too bad we live in. They Greece. got like. Oh, they got like they have like Texas and shit. I don't know. <laughs> Texas. The thing about them <laughs> is that it's incredibly racist. Why? Oh, what? Yeah, we're the fucking leaders of the free world, and we're like the fucking most or one of the most racist countries in this bitch. How are we really gonna present ourselves as a fucking leader of the world, and we can't Yo, even respect our own citizens? I like how we we we've had a history of just being like hypocritical, like. We're fighting Critical. Hitler, right? We're fighting Hitler World War Two, and we're like, Oh, you're bad, you, you don't like any, everybody equally, and then, meanwhile, we have white and black, like, water fountains while we're fighting that dude, like... No, like, not only gonna... that, we also have the fucking Japanese internment camps. Yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are we so hypocritical? America, America is a crazy bitch, and we'll do anything to stay on top. Lady Liberty's on her page. It reminds me of my... 
It reminds me of a of a of a sweet seldom ex I had, who think, who did anything to get her way. Do you think America is just bad? And by anything, I mean literally I'm anything. somehow very nervous about the. Do, do you think America about. is bad though? Because Lady Liberty might be on her period. You know. Lady Liberty has. If Lady Liberty is just on her period, that was a fucking long ass. Lady period. Liberty is going through menopause. Yeah. But, well, maybe it's longer because she's bigger. Yeah, you know, and you know how you like, making fun yeah. of her size. You know the solar. Are you, you know how are you, are you, you know, body shaming her? No, you know the solar systems and how planets take different times to roll, revolve yeah, around the like, sun, and days are longer and certain. Where does terms. solar systems come and, into and, this? And, and where does so, what the right? So maybe, maybe well, it's like, obviously maybe because like Lady Liberty is equivalent space, to twenty wow. days for Lady Liberty, and. Okay, so where is Lady Lady Liberty in co in conjoints to the sun? Um, far. She has from course. space. She she came from space. The sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she's pointing. That's why her torch is on fire. That's why her torch is on fire. You know, I'll be forgetting that Lady Liberty is the Statue of Liberty sometimes. Wait, if you go what? inside of her, I, I you forgot like, that existed until you should you know. go inside of Lady uh, Lady Liberty. No, thank you. GTA Four. No, like we go inside of they... her, like we go in the entrance. I heard, I heard the, I heard the stairs are there's a lot of them. Yeah, we go inside of her. Oh, and they're in elevator. What, Anthony's? What? We're just, we're just going Anthony. inside of Lady Liberty. They Visit just installed inside. an elevator in Lady Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you... When I said it like that, it just sounded so weird. Why? It's an elevator. Did they install like a fridge in here too? Probably. Maybe. How big is it? Huge. Was... You said. That's what she said. And that's what I said. Fuck. Yeah, Jaden. <laughs> the gay man. The gay man said that, y'all. Let's just. Let's just. Pay attention to that for a second. Sorry. No. Jaden's built different. I can't pay attention because I'm broke. Oh shit, it's not. Nice. Yeah, pay attention because I probably. Honestly, have... I, I, feel, I feel like I feel like Jaden would have sex with a woman just to see what it's like. That Absolutely seems like a not. Thank, thank you, Raph, for Absolutely telling us this. Not. Hey, Absolutely I spit not. it how it is. Well, you spit in my mouth. You stated that how far? What? What? Coco, Coco, do you do you do you do you disagree with me? What did Wait, you, you said you said you would feel like Jaden would do something, and then he said no. So you're immediately wrong. A very small amount of woman Jaden would have sex with, and it would have to be under the most dire of circumstances. Like Hillary Clinton. Uh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we Let's lock him and her. Hillary into a box. We gotta help her. Yeah, her campaign we're gonna get to heaven. I think well, actually, if no, I was locked in a box with Hillary case Clinton, because she's I... way older than him. <laughs> the if Hillary I baby. Hillary Clinton, I think I'd be more scared of her than attracted to her. She, oh my <laughs> god, that's <laughs> smi- her, her fucking classic smile. How about um, one of the members from Blackpink, the band that Jade listens to? Ariana Grande. Uh, yeah, so like... that's a good one. Wait, is this she in her 20s? <laughs> no. Nah. Raph would do with star member, star member of Blackpink, Ariana Grande, y'all. Is she? Literally me. Yes, is she is. Has a big forehead? No. Join the band. I should join the band. Alana, why are you playing with the grass? You're playing with the man's favorite grass. I'm gonna eat it later. She's playing in the grass with the man. At night time. Yeah. That's my we brother. We always record these podcasts at night, but daylight savings time is coming up this Sunday, so I think maybe the next episode might be the first episode we record during the day because days are getting longer. And <sighs> like but... my meat. Yeah. I am so sorry. Oh God, I mean, we're all still developing. I am right? so sorry. When do our penises stop growing? Is Coco. That a, is that a thing, or are they already the full size when they come out? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine a, just a, don't imagine like just a baby with like something the size of its arm. No, a penis. Oh, okay. Then penises yes. do grow, but at what point do they stop growing? 
about like at the same time you stop growing it, like, it like, like, like 22 it, isn't it like 20 yeah, something oh, okay. there's like a period 20. of time there's a period of time where it stops growing where it starts growing in scale and stops growing in scale but there's a period of time where it just grows along with the rest of your body you know what i mean oh yeah are you know, talking like about the, the peanut the, yeah, I know. Okay, the harder sense. you fall <laughs> the harder you fall yeah. the harder yeah. you get jesus christ Sorry, you know, they say the second say you're born, you start dying, but not really, you know, like not us, at least. Like, yeah, if you want to, if, if, if you want to view it from a philosophical, if you want to view it as philosophical, then sure. If you want to view it biological, no, we're, we're, we're just, of my millennial sister. I feel like, yeah, and especially us because we're still growing, and until yeah. we hit that age where we actually start, Isn't like, you know, dying, we like finally like grow fully, like, like, uh. Y'all be acting like the, the cell birth to death ratio is gonna fucking like s plummet the moment we turn 25. No, the second you get out of the womb, you just start losing all your cells. You're still gonna be producing more cells than you than you're losing. You're when start you're fading away legs first. Well, I mean, you start aging. I think I think you start to get like look older maybe when you're in your 40s or 50s. Years. It depends. Some people it depends, age that, really that depends well. on genes. Yeah, some people age really well. Well, some others don't. I, Yo, I think I'm keeping my hair. There's, there's think, some, yeah, some guys hair. in their 20s that look like they're in their 50s, and there's some guys in their 50s that look like they're in their 20s. It just all depends. I was talking to I was talking to Tolson, and uh, I was scared because my because um, I heard somewhere that like, your 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 something your, your uncles oh. determine. Like, if your uncle's bald, there's a higher chance of you being bald. My uncle had a lot and of I hair. And have, I have three bald uncles. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> well, okay, my uncle... Yeah. Has, wait, is it on the mother's Three side bald the uncles side? on top of the fact that my father was bald, or is bald. All of my family on my mother's yeah. side has a lot of hair, like, on their head. So I think I'll keep in mind, and my my mom said my hair is really thick and it's hard to cut through. So, so I think I'll yeah, yeah. Well, I all my grandparents still have their hair. Like all the old people yeah, in my family too. still have their hair, just to look yeah. thick and shit. It just turns like grayer. Yeah. My well, like Tosin told, told me that like. Well, Tosin told me that um. Your, your hair. It sounds like that. There's no you're company, you're like the to disguise house or whatever. Or... Chocolate chip? Wait, no. Well, whatever. The point is that right. I was talking. I was talking with him. He said that it's determined by your mother's dad. I've never met my mother's dad. I don't know what he looks Neither like. I. My mother's dad is dead. Him. My mother's dad has been dead uh, twenty years before I was born. Oh shit. Or yeah, about that much. Uh, yeah, I gotta go. Of course you do. Yeah. You, you I mean, I didn't know the guy. I don't. I don't you remember. insensitive. Uh... Look, say bye to my brother. Bye, brother. Gerald's. Bye, Gerald. 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 Gerald, you're hot. Who yeah, Gerald. Guy? All the girls ask him out. Yo, so this is Nestle <laughs> Toll House chocolate chip. This is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, those. I'm smacking. Aren't those the guys who make the fucking coffee? No. I feel like I'm just gonna be at some point in the conversation where I just start screaming out incoherent nonsense. That's for real. Like it's coming soon. I can feel it. It's I happening. can feel it coming. I can feel it coming. Okay, so uh, specifically to Coco. I'm pretty sure Jane knows pretty much everything about Genshin that he needs to know at this point. So the fact that you assume that is very funny. Well, what do you need to know? I don't know. That's what do point. you know? What do you know? Uh, I don't feel like talking about all that right now. That's a lot of work. <laughs> uh. I could get that off my face. Like I could get that off my face. Holy shit. The only thing I want you guys to do is that when you complete the tutorial, you get into the, the fucking main, the main city of the game. And they let you, like, once you reach Adventure Rank 5, once you roll, I want you guys to, like, determine who you're going to use as your main character. Or, like, who you're going to focus Cheeto on until you girl. turn level. Coolest dude I find. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. So <laughs> Anthony <No>. has Barbara. <laughs> Stop. Anthony, Why Anthony has Barbara. Barbara she's not Anthony, that bad. Look. Barbara's not bad. Not she's a she's bad. she's a great healer, but you already have Noel. Who's I don't have so Noel. Like, Noel's in the healer. Noel's and he doesn't have Noel. I don't have Noel. Oh, well Noel's a great healer. Noel's literally a top tier end game. Noel's a healer? Yes, oh, wow. an amazing healer. Good, so. I don't have Noel. It's okay. I don't think you will lock some... her healing until like oh. I have some uh, rank blonde two. Chest. I don't know who she is. Ray's bullying me. He is blonde. I'm chat. Yeah, that blonde girl. Uh, Barbara. You're talking about Barbara, probably. No, not that Barbara. There's another blonde girl that I started out as. The main character. The main character. Yeah. <laughs> who is You're she? an idiot. Oh. Oh yeah, very oh. interesting. Oh. The main character. No one mains the main character, by the way. For a very... I, that's what I'm saying. I, I never see anyone use the main character. I do. Th- there's a very good reason. Well, you can if you want to. Like, it literally doesn't matter. But no one does it mainly because there's always going to be a better character. Like, the the abilities and what it grants you as a character in terms of combat, in terms of, like, abilities and performance, it's far outweighed by literally anyone else with, like, a better skill set. Or, like, that's not Animo. Like, most animal people are either really good supports or really good attackers. Yeah. The MC is neither of those. Uh-huh. It's hey, not a good support. Anyone is better than Amber. <laughs> Literally anybody's better than Amber. Yeah. My fucking, my fucking does, level one Beidou. Does, uh, my does le- anybody, does anybody? I hate Paimon. Can we talk about that little pipsqueak for a second? I'd punt her across a wait, football wait, wait, field Wait, 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 Rob, Yo. does anybody main Amber? Probably. There's gonna be someone you find that Amber's like, or Amber's really that. Um, fuck, what's the word? What's your favorite character, Raph, from the game? My favorite character has to be Ning Wang. I don't know who that is. Or Mono. Uh, you're gonna know her. You're gonna know about her from the the second act or the first act, I believe, of the game, which like really like revolves around her a bit. But yeah. she's like the fucking queen of the city, pretty much. Queef. Queen. And her, her ability set is really good. Queen. Look, this is her. Oh! This is her. I don't see her screen. She uses podcast episode title, working title. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we try to talk about fast food, and then we get sidetracked, like a side side. Like a side dish. Yeah. Let's get to the dessert now. Okay. Well, like... A- yeah? Right. So her ability mainly consists of her using a weapon known as a catalyst, right? Oh, I'll show you guys in a second. Let me just teleport over here. But basically, she uses a thing called a catalyst, and it helps her project certain elements, like raw, like raw elements. So, for example, if you were like a... An electro, for example, electro, um, what's it called? Catalyst. You'd shoot out raw lightning, raw electro. Or if you were Ningguang here, who's a geo catalyst. So not only are you using the powers of fucking rocks, you're also a catalyst who does elemental rocks. damage. You shoot out fucking like space jades from the fucking core of the earth space at gym. people. And it's so, it's it's literally really broken. It's so broken. When I just got her, the first time I got her. Coco? Like, it was so what fucking happened? dumb. Because she just killed everything. You good, Coco? He's not even talking. Coco? Yeah, another thing. I'd show you guys, I'll show you guys how to, like, build your characters and stuff when it comes to that time. But you're not going to do that to, like, AR-20 of it. Coco. I don't hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. I can't. Maybe it's me. But like, it's always me. Hold on. Wait, and the crit damage. Mine isn't maxed out yet, but it's still pretty good. And so for that, a weapon that has either high crit rate, high crit damage, a good ability, and a high base attack, right? This is a good weapon. It's a twin twin right? You guys will get it pretty early. It's not that hard to get. Um, For the artifacts, right? These are like the bonus stats. So, you can see here, I got, like, 376 out of artifacts compared to someone like Lisa only at 69 because I'm built there, or 
Ching Chu, who merely gets like elemental mastery because he's a support character. You know, I mean, things like that. And that's why I like her a lot because she just like is pure attack. So she just fucking kills anything once she gets on. Yeah. I yeah. Agree. Meanwhile, Anthony stuck with Barbara. Yeah, these just random. There's these I'm random sure anime I... people that keep DMing me on Discord, and they're very horny people, and I'm very scared. That happened to me on PlayStation Network when I was 12, and I had no idea what they were doing. I'm pretty sure when I start, because I have like my, my mobile account for Dancing Impact, but I'm pretty sure when I use my brother's PlayStation, I'm going to start again, I'm assuming. So Yeah, on PlayStation, it's not cross save, so you just have to restart. So, I, what's my problem? I'm going to have to restart, and it means I'm going to have to get, a, well, I'm going to get new, like, new roles, which I'm kind of scared for, because I was actually, I, I kind of like the roles I got on my mobile. I got Noel. Wait, what'd you get on your mobile? Uh, I, I got Noel and uh, the Fire Spear Lady that I forgot the name of. Something. Um, yeah. You, I'll, I'll be straight up with you, you could have gotten way better roles, especially for a first role, because there's like a boosted but I, chance. Like, but, I, but I was happy with those. I like yeah, them. Yeah, they're great, they're great. <laughs> John Ling is, a, is a phenomenal, actually. I really like John Ling. And I like Noelle. But Noelle, but... You're, you're guaranteed a Noelle at some point. Like, you'll be fine. You'll get Noelle back. But, um, oh, what was I saying? Wrong. Like, for my first role, I got Chi-Chi. She's a healer, but she's fucking amazing. Like, even on offense, like, she's a phenomenal character. <sighs> there's a lot of fish in the ocean but like we only are able to catch just a couple that's actually not true well, overfishing is actually a really big thing that's going on <laughs> but I <laughs> I I am only able to catch a couple stripers maybe a couple sea bass but there's way more out there let's do a, a few small fries okay maybe, well, I'll maybe tell you a guys. fish the probability right now of um, Fortnite. Well, it comes down to it. So I just want you to like really be careful with what you're putting out online. Yeah. Especially like you already posted a video of what you go to. Huh? And that got a lot of views. What video? Wait, you know, I'm a you're playing basketball, remember? I'm a YouTuber. That's <laughs> it. Shit. Him no, no, him and my sister do the exact same thing. Well, we're, we're like, we'll level, whenever I started talking seriously, they're like, stop fucking making jokes about it. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Why now? Because, uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I am tired of Could have picked any seconds. other time to make... Raph, how, how, right okay. okay. how do you manage to stay up at 3 in the morning? I get tired, and it's 9 o'clock. You guys are tired? <laughs> at 9 o'clock on a Friday night, I get tired. You have to do it. You have to do it the first time, and then you can do it as much as you want. Yeah. There's one time I tried pulling It's sort of like a... I've never been able to pull a successful all-nighter, though. I've tried before, but my my body keeps falling asleep. I can't, like, keep myself awake. You'll need to do all-nighters at some point. I will. I have stayed up to, like, what, like, eight, like, maybe eight, nine in the morning once. It was... It was pure bliss as it was happening, but afterwards, my body crashed so hard. Oh, look behind you. I remember... Oh look behind you. That is so I remember terrifying. playing a game. Oh, 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 oh. oh, no. I remember playing like, a game with Sweden. I don't remember which one, but we played until it was like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. What game was... Wait, what, what, were we at your house or mine? Uh, no, we, uh... that's the craziest part. We just, um, we were like apart. We were playing oh. online. What game was it? Hotboobies.org. Um. Well, I heard myself. Ooh. That's Stop so it. crazy. You're crazy. Um, Stop. I wasn't talking about you. I wasn't talking Stop. about you. I was talking. No. Oh, where did everyone go? Where'd everyone go? No idea. Everyone's dying. It's all your fault, Jaden. But the, you. See, the thing about the thing the thing about doing like um all nighters is like after a while when you start when you start to feel the tired after a while when you start when you start to feel like the the tiredness sink in 
right? It's like you start to get, at least for me, I get really giggly when I'm like, I'm like staying up late. I start to get really giggly and <laughs> I laugh a lot. It's Jesus not like that. It's more like, it's more like really what? tired, like quiet giggles. But it's at, like, I will literally be laughing at nothing but like myself and the things I say or like the things other people say. And it won't even be that funny, but I will be, I'll find it so funny. It's a mess. Maybe you just need to mm-hmm. stop. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> Get your greatest prices. And greatest okay, prices. what was I talking about before I left? I get sidetracked very easily. We were talking, talking about, about Genshin oh, no. and how the, the, the people on Genshin are so beautiful. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you the details about like the, the characters you could have gotten. Like, the better ones at least. Well, Ray, what do you think <laughs> of eating like, chicken? Yeah, but... Does it actually taste like chicken or... Where are you, so... Kamei? There's All still right, three well... of us. There's still three of us that have to actually like start officially playing it, which is me and Alana, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And me. Ah. True. Yeah. That's true. No, like... Okay. Yeah. I feel like... Like, there's information you need to know before you start, though. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's not what you were going to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were going to talk about characters that we could have gotten first roles when none of us... Well, not none of us, but most of us have had our first roles. <laughs> now I'm saying characters you're going to look out for when you get your first roles. Because you can do these things called re-rolls, where you could just, like, restart your account and get better roles. Which, I, you could do that if you want. I tried to pressure. I, to I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna do that unless I get like shitty, like like shit dog world. Like it would have to be so bad if you don't understand. Wait, because I've played gotcha games before, and my problem, my my problem with gotcha games is when you start to get too focused on what you get out of the roles, it starts to become not fun. So I'm not gonna do that. Is there a thing called <laughs> prestiging where you like start all over, but you like start with more stuff when you start all over? Yeah, but it doesn't get rid of your characters or anything. Okay. I want to play as Hillary Clinton. I want to show those Maybe one day. Tards what one day in up Fortnite. with the world. Yeah, but I don't, I they play Hillary Clinton in Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite? No more Fortnite. What if they no started putting Fortnite. politicians in Fortnite? Fortnite. So, the characters you could have gotten are... Fuck. This mofo is still going. Daddy. No, because I really... It's, no, because it's actually pretty... Like, I love all these characters so much. Except for Amber. Um, Sucrose, Diona, <laughs> Chungian, Kaya, Fischl, Beidou, Kaya, Razor, who's a really good... From the official podcast. Uh, Noel, who's a good DP... Or a good healer. Ningguan, good DPS. Xingqiu, really important. Barbara, really cool. Xingyang, really cool. Can't Bennett, see. amazing. Guys, Shan Ling, amazing. Amber is Amber. That's just the four stars. The five stars are even Shit. fucking cooler. Yeah. But I feel like there's some characters who are in four star who could be five star. Like Ning Wong, for example, definitely could be a, a five star. Is this a five star? Fucking rap? Sucrose. Is this a five star rap? <laughs> Shut up. No! <laughs> I got kicked from my own podcast. That is. That's so sad. That is so sad. That's like getting kicked from my own house. It's, I might as well bend over and give you the deed to my house, Ray. Do it. Or I will. After this episode, of course. I'll do, I'm doing a giveaway to the deed to my house. The first person to comment gets my house. On my Asian account, I got Sucrose, who's a really, really cool character. Especially for an animal. Yeah, so? so that, means I don't gotta, that means I don't have to use the MC. And wait, Anthony, you're setting this up for yourself because you 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 put the you in your videos you put the your little thing you put your little disclaimer first. What disclaimer? You 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 put like a comment under your video. You'd be like, True, ever, 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 but ever. I always well, so, like, you just have to comment second. before me. That's all. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> the first video above stepping in. Yes, holy shit. Oh. Yeah, 
You're just gonna have to comment before him, dude. No, oh, 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 oh. I gotta be there, like, from my perspective when it drops. Yeah, so you have to turn on the notification bell, guys, to those that are still listening. And then you'll leave my house. Wait, is Meltu, um, what's it called? He is... That one guy? Yes, he is, he is YouTuber. British YouTuber. Oh. What the fuck happened to his channel? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> he got mugged in the street. Oh, no. He makes pretty good content, to be honest. It's just, I wish he didn't delete his videos, because it's like... No one's gonna really know who he is if he keeps deleting his content. Like he needs some sort of foundation. So if someone visits his channel, they'll know like you know who he actually is. This, the whole entire like representation on YouTube. I feel like if you delete, mm -hmm. he's he. I don't know. I feel like he just deletes his videos too much, and it's just kind of hurting his own channel. Quick question. Yes. Are you keeping this in the podcast? Do you want me to pause it? Yo, we should play can Elsa you, today. Can you remove the part in which I said I said he got mugged in a British accent? I don't even know. <laughs> That's all right. It's fine. I mean, Mel two said Cut a this part out. Of... Cut this part out. All right. Oh well. Oh, so he's bussing. The only thing. Why did I say that? In, a, in the Osu video a week ago. Did I? This wasn't a week ago. That was months. Yeah, it felt like a month ago. What the hell? What am I also, chatting? What are you talking about, about? Is that videos on Genshin Impact are very, like, information-based. So if you're, if you're gonna make a series just based on comedy, that, that's amazing. But, like, a lot of the views come from, like, information-type YouTubers who, like, inform the public. Well, I'm not good at, also, at being can... serious, as you can tell. I don't think I'd be good at that. I could I could push myself to make a serious yeah, video, like an informational video, but I don't think I would ever do that again. Do not. Oh, I just saw a white girl with the, the return of great <laughs> for war X, X, S. I can't speak. I was trying to say return of the great for furry war esque videos. Oh yeah, the the furry war video I made like in like two years ago or almost three years ago. Uh, 2018. Um, should I make a follow-up? 20... <laughs> yeah. The Great Furry War 2. I don't want to play Minecraft. World War 2. Just Where we've bedrock, aligned though? with the furry. I don't have bedrock. Bedcock. Ugh, he's a loser. I'm going to try something. I'm going to see if this computer turns on. If it doesn't, Could you imagine I turn on my computer it. and it just works after? <laughs> All those weeks of... of doing nothing so do we have any more topics Not or do, should we wrap up for this podcast i think we should wrap it up hold on oh, we sorry. wrap it up can we talk about how we have ice cream colors going on i'm chocolate jade and strawberry and rap is vanilla and i'm cookie i'm cookies and cream. Why am I the vanilla? I'm cookies and cream because uh hold on if i turn off my face cam see Oh yeah, why are teenage kids so obsessed with um, or not teenage kids, but like little kids so obsessed with like being vanillas and like media sound type shit? Cause um, vanilla Minecraft. What are you talking about? Like you, like you'll hear kids be like, "Oh, you're a vanilla," to other kids. Oh and my like, god, it is a Napoleon ice cream. They get the vanilla. I know. What the kids? And the what kids are you around? And they got cookies and cream. That's nice. Yeah, can we? Wrap, what kids like, are you around? Are we wrapping up the podcast. Yes, yeah. now, do it now. Do it, do it actually, cut that do last it now. part out. Do it cut right that. now. Maybe in the future we'll do out. a 24-hour podcast in the future. About BDSM. <laughs> how, do we, how do we stretch that out, the 24 hours, though? I'm going to stretch you out. <laughs> oh, okay, no, no, we'll no. We'll save that after. for the next episode. <laughs> we'll save not. that for the next episode on the podcast. We'll find out if I do get stretched out. And I don't know in what way, but that's why you guys have to stay subscribed and turn on notification and bell. find out and on the next episode yeah, of Pigeon Peeved Podcast. <laughs>